Smart Logger 3000 Power Grid Scheduling Reactive Power Control Commissioning Video. Select a language and username, enter the password, and click Log In. Setting Sun 2000 running parameters. Choose Monitoring, Sun 2000, Running Parameters, Power Adjustment. Check that remote power schedule is set to enable for the inverter. Setting reactive power control mode. Choose setting, power adjustment, reactive power control. If reactive power control mode is set to no output, the inverter can work in active power output mode. Before setting DI reactive scheduling, ensure that the custom DI port is not occupied. Click Add to add the connection, disconnection combination and power factor of different DI ports. Click Confirm and then Submit. Set Reactive Power Control Mode to Reactive Power Fixed Control. Click Add and set the start time and reactive power. Set Reactive Power Control Mode to Power Factor Fixed Control. Click Add and set the Start Time and Power Factor. Set Reactive Power Control Mode to Q-U Characteristic Curve. Set Reactive Power Control Mode to COS Phi P PN Characteristic Curve. Set Reactive Power Control Mode to Q U Hysteresis Curve CEI 0 16. Set Reactive Power Control Mode to Remote Communication Scheduling. Set Reactive Power Control Mode to Power Factor Closed Loop Control, Old Policy. Power Factor Closed Loop Control, Old Policy applies to the scenario with a single smart logger or a single PV array. To implement Power Factor Closed Loop Control, you need to set License Management and Smart Reactive Power Compensation. Choose Maintenance, License Management, License Loading. Click Upload License.
After the license file is uploaded, click Load License. Click License Information. Choose Settings, Power Adjustment, Smart Reactive Power Compensation. Click Add Devices. Click Previous or Next as required. Set Reactive Power Control Mode to PFU Characteristic Curve. Set Reactive Power Control Mode to QP Characteristic Curve. 